Right, looking at a DesignJet 400 series, so that's the DesignJet 430 and the 450. And the cartridge and data error we're going to run through, something you might experience on boot up of the machine. So we've got a machine here that's got that problem, and what we'll do, we'll just power it up. See the machine starts going through its startup sequence normally. And in a second, see the carriage unlatch. Move over to the right hand side, tap out a couple of times. Okay, in a second, we'll see the carriage move over to this position. <coughs> and what we'll start to look for, there's a little white mark on the end of the pattern roller there, which the carriage will go searching for. Let's see that little red light there, and a little bit difficult to show from this angle, there's that white mark that it's looking for. white mark again. It's going through a little search pattern trying to find that that encoder mark and it's missing it. It basically says this carriage isn't working correctly, the sensor on it is uh, given up. And it will just carry on doing this little search pattern here. And eventually the machine will give up and then it will give the error code. So one of the giveaways is that it takes that much longer for the machine to boot up because this machine is doing this search pattern. Now had it found that encoder mark, what you'll see is the little light there would have blinked and it would start centralising around the carriage sensor. See, the carriage is nudged over a little bit further, still looking for that mark. But because the sensor's not working, the is never going to see it. So I'll say probably 95% of the time this is caused out now by the carriage failure. Uh, the odd 5% might be a trailing cable that's failed, not carrying the signal correctly. So come back to the control panel. And we can see there the cartridges plus the data on the error. So what we need to do there is get that carriage replaced.